What's up everyone, Josh Short Ohio Fish Rescue, and as promised, I am back from vacation, so it is time to get to work. We've got lots to talk about today, and I'm going to go over my plan on what we're going to do, and it's going to be happening relatively soon. All right, so first things first, this Sunday I have a bunch of people coming over to help. You guys can see there's just stuff everywhere. Well, we got the 180 stand there, we've got the 220 outside. That's gonna go ahead and come in here on this stand. Then my dad can work on getting all this salt water stuff into this tank, and then this will be opened back up. That is one part of it. And then he's gotta move these fish, this whole reef system, over into that tank. Maybe that'll happen on Saturday. And then once this is down and moved, that's uh, for the table out on the back porch. These are some stands for some tanks that are sitting outside. All this stuff will have to move. And then we have to move this tanning bed right here and that's gonna go down into the gym room down there. And the rest of this crap all has to come out of here. We have to clear this whole entire path and make sure there's nothing in our way. We originally said we wanted to cut this like cut the cement and rip this out well i don't know how, how reasonable that is we pulled back the carpet and this is actually full full depth so it's down in the concrete through a a cord uh sample all the way down on how far down it goes but we thought of a easier more reasonable idea that we thought of so what we're going to do is drain this hot tub completely there's about maybe six inches it can go that way and two foot it can go that way so we're going to drain it and basically push it back and that way so we can have enough room to have four foot in between here. Going to have to move these couches against that wall or maybe on top of the hot tub. Move all this crap out of the, the way through here. So once we get that done and clear, we can be able to have some room to work. We got to clear out all this crap underneath the Dwight Howard tank. Now this place is going to get messier before it starts looking better, but that's usually how it always goes. So this Dwight Howard tank is going to stay on the stand. We will take the uh, uh, canopy off, but we'll keep the tank on the stand. I'll go ahead and strap it to it. And then all this stuff down below has to come out. And then I gotta get a jack in there. There's actually some wood flooring that is uh, cut and fitted to meet the whole bottom of the tank. That all has to come up so I can get a jack under here, lift up each side, get a roller underneath the stand on the bottom there, and then bring this out. And then we're going to go all the way down here and put it in place right there. But while I'm over here, I'll show you guys the, the bass. They're still doing great, looking great, pretty awesome. So that is one big job that I want to get done this weekend so we can start making plans getting the Dwight Howard over there and making room for the thousand to go here. Now, to get the rest of these tanks up and going, I'm gonna go ahead and tape this off where I want this uh, patch to be on this 500. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that, that square rod and just get, get this going. It's been sitting here long enough. The glue's here, the rod's here, so nothing, nothing's stopping me. So we're gonna get, get in here, tape it off, and then I'm gonna go ahead and sand the surface that I'm going to, to be gluing. I'm gonna set this side up onto a four x four so it has uh, some gravity working the glue into the seam of the corner. And then I'm gonna go ahead and let that set that up for about 24 to 48 hours. Then we're gonna flip this back up and hook it back up to the system. This tank should be good to go. And then the plan is to basically pipe this 750 and now the 1000 that's going to go there onto the same uh, return. So this, this piping's gonna have to come down, shoot all the way over beneath those tanks, and then that 1000's gonna have to come down, T into it, and it's gonna come back into the pond at some point. Don't exactly know, know where, but we'll handle that when the time comes. So that'll be basically this room done and uh, some of these empty tanks will finally have water in it once again you know we've used this as quarantine before for, for the koi it does hold i just have the overflows capped off so i'm going to keep one capped off and basically take one out and plumb it back into the 
uh, thousand gallon, which is going to be on that side. So that'll all be two inch piping, and then we'll just have to run some new pumps, pump up to the thousand, pump up to the 750 here, so we can have a bunch of water pass through going through each tank. So that is part one of what we want to do in here, and then of course, you know, cleaning up that mess. But well, let's take a walk in here and show you what else we got in store. All right, so coming in here, the next logical step to make this big master plan come together would be get all the fish out of this tank here, and then we have to drain the, this tank and move it out of here. It's gonna then go into the pool room where I'm actually devising a plan to go ahead and get a metal frame welded together that's the complete shape of this tank here. And then we can go ahead and set it on the edge of the pool, get it all propped up and get this tank set back up. So that is just a, uh, a waiting game right there. But that's the next logical step. We have to drain the, this tank, move all, all the fish, and uh, physically move this thing. And then this room right through here is going to be open. The next hard step is basically moving everything from this tank this will actually be quite easy just put it up on rollers bring it right through here and then line it up with that tank there and uh, then it'll be these two tanks in just it, this row they'll be exactly identical the, the, the same height and we'll have that in place we can still use it as quarantine if we, we want but then that leaves this spot open right here, which you guys know that tank is sitting in my garage, that 600 we just went and picked up. So that 600 will then get wheeled in here and set up and used for quarantine for the time being. So this is a lot of work gonna happen real quick. And you know, we gotta do one thing to get to the next to make room to do that after that. So, you know, it's a lot of work, but we're up for, for the task and we're gonna slowly and surely get this done. All right, so this brings me to another point. That 600 gallon is four foot wide. We should have just enough room. That's if nothing is sticking off of that stand that's going to prohibit us. If we have to, then we might have to drain all of these quarantine tanks, which will be kind of a pain in the butt. So we gotta move all this stuff to open both of those doors to get everything through here, which that could be a lot more work than we bargained for, but it is feasible. Basically all these fish would go into a tub and then from the tub they would sit until we got the tank set back up. So as you can see, it's just like a domino effect of lots and lots and lots of work, but it is what we have to do to keep on upgrading here. And uh, while we have the people here this Sunday, we're gonna go ahead and give everything a once over clean and get everything back to tip top shape. So what that means is I'm gonna get in the 1000, the 4400, and we're gonna go ahead and clean everything. I'm also going to get into the Bellagio tanks over here. That's going to not be fun whatsoever. We've got th this one here. And then that one down there, go ahead and give the uh, front panel a good clean all the way down. And uh, that's my four tanks. Actually, there's five. I usually get in the 3,000 while I am down here. So that tank right over there, go ahead and get in there and clean that. But that one can be done from outside the, the tank. So that's not really a huge uh, or ordeal. So we get the Dwight Howard tank moved and the tanks clean. We are good on that. And then probably in the next few weeks, we'll have this one broken down and be able to move this one over and the 600 in. I'm not promising that by, you know, next weekend or the weekend after, but we are trying to keep everything on a, uh, a good schedule and make sure everything, you know, just flows smoothly and we're able to make things happen because it'd be exciting as you guys can see the floor is a little, a little wet that's from these tortoises they uh, made a mess in that their enclosure and overflowed this tub right here so we've got another fix for, for that to be able to uh, 
get a little bit more water pressure in there so in case this happens again it won't overflow look at that goby in there he's pretty cool <laughs> all right so next topic where are we going to put these fish so the the larger red tails will go, go in there the smaller we will uh put probably in the 550 along with the jow and the gooch the turtle for the time being we'll probably put in the 3000 right there <clears throat> along with the uh uh wallago leary right here the adonis pleco will have to go into the 550 and then the black devil cat will probably throw into the stingray tank here and we should be good to go so that's uh i believe that covers all the fish in here oh the two iridescent sharks we'll go ahead and move them as well and that should be good to go but you know what everything's going to be jam packed around here everything's going to be packed in and like i said it's going to get worse before it gets better but once we uh get these tanks set back up we're going to be loving life and it's going to be awesome. Lots more big tanks, lots more room for our fishy friends to swim around and have a great life and more room for us to do more things. So hope you guys enjoyed the little update vi video. It's going to be a busy weekend. So I will catch you in the next vi video. As always, stay fishy my friends.